Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna run a quick little experiment with our Sculpfun Blue Diet Laser. We're gonna test out an assortment of different materials, soft and hard, including leather, wood, MDF and also fake leather, because someone asked for that. And then also carbon steel, stainless steel and some coated pieces like this coated piece of stainless steel and then also this aged piece of copper on this opener. We're gonna test them out for viability. Is it actually possible to engrave, especially with the hard materials, that's gonna be a concern. And then also what, if it is possible, what settings should you use and what risks are involved, especially with the fake leather, I think that's gonna be a concern. So without further ado, let's get right in. First, let's test out the known good materials like MDF, wood and leather. I'm gonna engrave them all at 50% power at 1000 millimeters per second and then we can, can compare them and see what values should be used to get a good result. So here we are with all the known good materials. Leather, balsa wood and MDF. And they all look pretty nice. They were engraved at, again, 50% power, so roughly 2.5 watts of laser power and 1000 millimeters per minute of speed. And they all look very nice. Let's take a close-up shot of them. You can kind of see the infill line, so you could take the laser a bit out of focus to get rid of that. You lose a bit of like crispiness and detail, but you wouldn't see these uh, infill lines as well. On the leather, that isn't necessary. Leather is, leather is very forgiving for that. So the leather settings, I would say, are absolutely perfect. And on the MDF, it's kind of similar to the balsa wood. Again, you can see the infill lines a bit. So if you would bring it out of focus a tiny little bit, then that would fix it. So let's get onto the fake leather, which is a bit risky. You wouldn't see a lot of the engraving because it's black, obviously, but it's just a test if it's actually possible. But we will need to take care in case the plastic catches on fire. So let's look at the result of our engraving. And what you can see is that I mean, I was working with a very thin piece because it's just from a, from a cushion and we shot right through. So obviously this, is, this would be too thin to engrave. It's only about a millimeter. You would need thicker pieces, but I have to say it works quite well. So engraving fake leather is definitely viable because there are no burn marks around the engraving. It is super crisp and if it would be thicker then obviously we wouldn't have shot through. So engraving fake leather definitely recommended and even the settings we have here again 2.5 watts of laser power 1000 millimeters per minute should be fine. Maybe lower it a bit if it is again not very thick and then you should be fine. Now let's go on to the fun stuff which are the steel pieces. We are going to increase the power now to the maximum 100% so 5 watts and reduce the speed to 500 millimeters per minute because I think we're going to need all the help we can get if we want even a slight chance of engraving on anything on that. So let's see how it goes. The carbon steel is done now and if you look at it closely you can slightly see the shadow of something that has been engraved but if it would focus you can see there but if you just run a finger across it's completely gone. So that, that was just burned into the grease if you would focus and nothing actually touched the steel. So engraving carbon steel is completely out of the way. Now let's have a look at the stainless steel and again just like with the carbon steel there is nothing. There is the slightest bit of shadow on the left but you can't even see it in the camera and not even real person and if I run my finger across it it's gone because again it was just on the grease on the surface of the knife. 
So let's continue with our other test. Now we're gonna test this pocket knife because as we saw steel is just too reflective to be engraved with this blue diet laser. You would use a CO2 laser which produces infrared light. But what if we had a coating? So this pocket knife has a stonewash finish on top. And what if we could just buy coated knives or coat the knives ourselves and then engrave into the coating to get a nice, you know, a nice logo on it. So let's try this out. I am happy to announce that we have our first success. As you can see, we managed to put our logo onto a piece of steel, if you would focus. It's very nice, it doesn't like rub away, so we have actually penetrated the stonewash finish that was factory put onto this, and we have a logo on there. And I'm actually super glad that this works, because again, now that means as long as you buy coated knives or you coat the knives yourself, you can use your laser to directly engrave anything you want onto a knife with super high resolution. And that's actually awesome. I'm super happy that this worked. For our last piece, we have this piece of aged copper. This is an Opinel stainless steel ring that I galvanized uh, quite some time ago and it has now aged and become much darker. So we're gonna try out if we can engrave on this uh, layer of copper to get a logo in. So unfortunately there was nothing with the copper piece, even the like oxide layer on top wouldn't get burnt away by the laser. You can see I had it in this way and there's nothing, you can't even see like some, some shadow in the grease. So engraving copper, unfortunately, is completely out of the picture. Here we are at the outro. First of all, I think all the results were quite interesting. I didn't think, for one, that engraving fake leather was this painless. I thought it was gonna, like, like a plastic bag, uh, melt and catch on fire and smell bad and smoke. But it didn't do any of that because, well, it is a laser, so it is super energy dense and it basically just vaporizes it and then it's gone and it, it the heat has no time to travel to the like outer parts that shouldn't be engraved so that was quite nice for all the other stuff settings wise you don't actually need this is like one of the lowest power units you can get and you don't even need the full power so as long as you stay with soft materials something like this is absolutely fine with the steel i tried the carbon steel i tried before on like their product page they actually say you can engrave stainless steel but as we saw that's just simply not true basically all metals are gonna be way too reflective so that like a small little five watt unit like this is gonna do anything but with the coatings it's a different story if it has a painting, as we saw, you can get very nice results in your engraving because then you're not like the reflectiveness of the steel doesn't matter because you have a coating on top that you can burn away. So that's that actually opens up quite a lot of options because there are uh, most of outdoor knives will have some sort of coating on top of them. So that means you can customize it. And the resolution is much higher than anything that you can get with electro etching, even with the laser electro etching with the foil. So that was it for this video. I hope you found it interesting. If you have any more ideas, then please leave a comment and tell them so I can try them out in another video. If you liked it, then consider giving the video a like, subscribing, and then I will see you on the next one. Bye bye.